Greetings everybody and welcome to this screencast on building a Vue.js component that logs console log output and you can enable and disable that feature and see how that goes. So let's have a look at the uh, application that I've built. So there's basically a, an application that has a test log button and when you click it, it will output the log over here. And if you click toggle logging, it will output logging enabled here and here in the component because now the logs are being logged to both the component and to the console. And if I click toggle logging again, we'll see logging disabled here, but nothing here. Uh, that's because I've disabled the logging to the component. And as you can see, it only outputs down over here. So let's have a look at how we did this. And what I'm going to do is build this application from scratch. So I've just reset the application and I'm going to go over here and take a look at the source code. So um, I created this application using the Vue CLI um, tools and I used the Vue CLI com create command and it generated something similar to this. I've made a few minor modifications but nothing too much. Now what I'm going to do is just walk you through some steps in a series of videos. So in this video we're just going to start with the basics and I'm going to start off with adding a button at the very top here and the button I put in uh, these div tags just to make it look, look uh, nice and it's going to have a click event handler and that click event handler is going to call a method and in view if you're familiar not or you're not familiar with Vue.js, you just type the name of the method here. So test log, for example. All right. And then I'm going to basically um, write out the label for the button and close that off. And the cool thing is when you're using Vue.js with TypeScript, you can basically write methods straight into the class. So this is class-based definitions of your components. Um, and in case you're wondering, this part here is basically uh, a decorator for your component. So you can put different properties in here, and you can write um, you can write uh, methods in here. So I'm going to write the test log method in here, and I'm going to simply call console oops, console uh, dot log, and I'm going to just say in test log in app vue like so. So now we've got the button up here and we've got our method down here which outputs the log. So we should see the button and when I click it we see the log output here. So it's working. That's great. Now what I want to do is because my application needs to manage state so that we can output the log into the component, um, I'm going to use the Vuex store. Uh, the Vuex store has been created for us, an empty one, as you can see. This was created via the Vue CLI command line. And to start with, just as a sort of hello world, I'm going to show you how you can invoke an action in the store. Okay? So to do that, we first need an action. So let's call the action uh, test log, like so. And we're going to define this as a method that just basically outputs to the console in test log method in store, like that. Now, that's fine. We've defined the method in our store under uh, one of the actions. But how do we actually invoke that? Well, let's go back to our app view component and inside test log, I'm going to add a second line here, and this is where I want to invoke that action. And fortunately, we have access to our store on this dot dollar store. And in order to invoke an action, we need to use the dispatch method. So we call dispatch, and dispatch takes a string, which is the name of the action we want to invoke, which is test log. So now with this line here in place, what will happen is when we click this button here, it's going to invoke this method here, which will output this log, and it will dispatch an event to this 
action and this action will output this log. So if we head over back to the app, we can click the test log button and we should see two logs output and we do. So this is the first step that I wanted to take in this journey of routing the logs to our component. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we can write a method that will enable logging and show you how to override the console log method. So I hope to see you in that video and see you soon. Bye bye.